Hey guys, welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to add and use a store locator plugin for WordPress. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. Now regardless which store locator plugin you would like to use, they are all using Google Maps to display your stores and therefore we will need to generate a Google Maps API key. And to generate that key, you will need to have your billing enabled with Google. They won't charge you automatically, they just ask for your billing for security reasons, so don't worry about it. But in order to generate the key, uh, let's go to our written blog post and we'll click on this Google platform link. Over here, we'll click on get started. And then it will take us to our cloud platform. Let's click to open the menu and into APIs and services. And here we'll go into credentials. Over here, we'll click on create credential and we'll choose the API option. It will generate an API key for us. This is our API key. We'll need to use it in a second. So let's click on the copy button to copy it to our clipboard. Then we'll need to download and install the store locator plugin for WordPress. We can get it from the official website for full price of $39 or the exact same plugin from us for only $4.99. You have all the links in the description box down below. After you downloaded the plugin, whether from us or from official website, go to your WordPress website into plugins, add new, and click on the upload plugin button over here. Then you'll need to choose the zip file. First of all, unzip the file and then get into the folder. And here you will have another two zip files to choose from. So let's start with the relaunch platform. We'll install and then activate it. And then we can upload the second zip file, which is the store locator plugin. Okay, so we'll repeat the process. We'll go back to add new, upload plugin. And once again, we'll upload the second plugin, which is the store locator plugin, just like so. Then installed and activate it. Once they both active, we will need to put our API key we generated to use. We can do it by going to store locator and into settings. Over here, we'll go into the general tab and we'll paste the API key over here and we'll click on save changes. Once we did, we can start working with our plugin. So first, let's navigate into store categories. And although categories are meant for more complex type of businesses and most likely you won't even need to use categories, I still want to show you what they can be used for. So let's say we own a coffee shop with multiple locations worldwide, right? So one category can be United States, while another category can be Europe to differentiate between the two branches or the two locations. So let's enter a category called United States and we'll create another co category called Europe. Excellent. Again, you probably don't even need to use categories, but just for the example. Then let's move on to filters and filters are a great way for us to enter features that our customers can filter the results based on. So let me give you an example. I will create a features parent and then I will enter all the children under this features list. So for example, some of the features that we can offer uh, are Wi-Fi and it's under the features category, then maybe pet friendly, free parking, delivery, etc. Then our customer will be able to use checkboxes and look for the specific branch based on his needs. For example, if he's looking for Wi-Fi, he will be able to click on Wi-Fi and then it will filter the results for him. It will all come together when we'll create the stores. But for now, let's make sure we have the features option as the parent filter and all the other features below it. Once you listed them all, move on to all stores tab. And this is the list of all the stores you currently have. We have nothing yet. So let's click on add new store. And here, just like any other custom post type, we'll need to fill some details. So for example, the title of the store can be iBean Waterfront. Let's say iBean is the name of the coffee shop and Waterfront is just the location. And then I can add description. Let me copy it and paste it over here, just like so. And we can also set 
the address. Once we did, we'll scroll down. We can uh, set the contact information like a phone number, for example, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And also additional information, instructions, such as uh, hours of operation, etc. So let's say it starts at 8 and close at 5. Once we're done, we'll scroll all the way up. And here we'll set a category. In The coffee shop is in New York, so it's in the United States. And the features of this coffee shop, they have delivery and pet friendly. And we can also set a featured image, just like so. Once you did, click on publish and this is your first store. Now every store, just like any other custom post type, have its own URL. You can click on it and see what it looks like. Of course, you can style it uh, with a plugin, with CSS, Elementor, however you want to. So they have many options to style it. But I want to focus more on the map. So let's go back to our store, into all stores, and we'll repeat the process and create a few more stores. I'm going to pause it right now add a couple more stores and I will be back in a second. All right, so I added two more stores, two total of three stores, two in New York and one in London. Now let's move on and create a new page in order to display the map. So click on pages, add new, and here we'll create a new page. We'll call it store locator or however you want to call it. Then we will add a Gutenberg block. We'll look for the short code block over here and we will enter the plugin shortcode. You can copy it from the written blog post or just type it yourself. Just like so and we'll click on publish. Once we published the page, let's visit it and it will ask us to enable our location or just manually enter our location or the address uh, over here on the left side. So let's assume I'm in New York. I will enter New York as my address and then it will pinpoint and show me where I am. And it found two stores next to me. Uh, I've been downtown and I've been waterfront. Excellent. Now this is in the distance of 25 kilometers. We can change it. We can change the category, like as we said earlier, United States and filter it by the features that we created. So for example, I would like to have a store with Wi-Fi because that's what I'm looking for. And it filter it to only one location, which is the iBin downtown. And clicking on the name, it will take me to the dedicated page of this specific store. All right, let's go back to our map. And this is just very basic example of what this plugin is capable of doing. The plugin comes with many, many options to change style and customize the map. But because I can't show you all of them, because literally there are hundreds, let me show you some tweaks that I found useful. So first of all, as you can see, the map is on the right side and the address and the search results are on the left. We can change the layout from the default to any other layout. Let's go to the back end of our website into store locator and into the settings tab. And here we'll change and navigate into the layout tab. And this is the default one, but we have many options to choose from. For example, we can change the map to be on the left or the top, etc. Another thing that we can see is that the map height is automatically being calculated by the search result. Now, a store with many results will show a very tall map. I recommend you to change it to a custom height. So navigate into the map tab and uncheck this box. You can set the map height to pixels over here. And if you want to change it to miles, you can also do it uh, from that screen by changing the kilometers to miles. And before saving the changes, let's see what else we can change. We can see that the search result is displaying the store description inside of it. I think it's too much and we can hide it by going to the data to show tab. And here we have many options to control what we would like to show and what to hide. For example, if I would like to hide the description, I will uncheck this box. And one more thing that I would like to show you is whenever you click on the store title, it will take you to the designated page. So let's click on it and it will take us to the page. It will work the same with the search result. We can click on the store title over here and it will take us to the page. It's only useful when you have a nice description or images regarding that specific location. 
but if there is no information on that page you don't even need to link to it so to unlink between the map and the page for each store let's go to the info window and here we'll change the link to the single page to none we'll do the same with the search results and we'll unlink the single store page to none just like so once we're done with all the changes we'll click on save changes and we'll refresh our page to see what it looks like and we can see that the map height change it's only 400 pixels now the search result doesn't show the full description and clicking on the title won't do anything so everything is working as expected again there are many more ways to change it customize it edit it style it i recommend you to go to the different settings and try them for yourself if you like the results go ahead save it otherwise reset all settings and start again from the beginning all right guys so thank you very much for watching this video please let me know if you have any questions regarding this process Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.